Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. 120 words a minute, I think is what I type. Somewhere around there, maybe even more than that. It's been a few years since I've checked. I remember first learning how to type uh, on a on a typewriter, an actual typewriter, where you know the characters were on these stems, these metal stems that would back, 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 back. In fact, do you know the QWERTY layout that you're used to? You know the QWERTY, Q W E R T Y layout. Uh, the reason why it was laid out that way is because of uh, people, uh, or you know, largely those who were typists at the time, would type so fast that the key, the uh, the stems would get jammed, and it, it would happen to me even 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 then. Um, and I got so skilled at typing um, over the years, certainly throughout high school and in, into college, and it, I know every year I get faster every year. I mean, I'm sure there's a law of diminishing returns, but I mean, I'm I'm a pretty skilled typist. I can do pretty well. If you've you've likely heard me, uh, if I've got my keyboard up on the desk, on but I do most of it, uh, if not all of it, by touch. I, I as long as I know where my fingers are on home row, I'm qwerty. Some some of you guys out there are more Dvorak style. Uh, but I don't know. I, I people said go to Dvorak, it's faster. You know, I am so good at QWERTY at this point. I, I don't I don't know. I, I just don't want to really mess with my mind. I, I have I I have sometimes have problems with English itself. Uh, Harry Townsend decided to uh, submit uh, this uh, top five list for touch typing, and he you know notes quite well uh, you know that uh, computer gamers and programming uh, programmers are quite aware of the the benefits of this, and people ask all the time how do you do it, and well I'll. I'll I'll let you know because it's actually one of Harry's tips here. Number one, the keyboard. A famous and popular tactic used very often in typing classes is the blank keyboard with a reference poster for support on the wall, either on your side or behind you. This encourages you to familiarize yourself with the keyboard layout, which is absolutely essential. If you have a spare keyboard, it might be worth typexing, type, 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 typexing out the characters on the keys. Typexing. I've never seen that word before. Under no circumstances, though, is it recommended to do this on your primary keyboard, just in case you lose your reference sheet or somebody else wants to use the computer. There's actually a keyboard available that has blank keys, too, by the way. Number two, fading out. Deleting all identifying marking on your keyboard is not for everyone. If you are willing to put in some extra time to, into the venture, then you might be more suited to the method of simply typing as you normally would, but slowly forcing yourself to look at the keyboard less and less. This method is one that I started to, uh, this is the one I used to start learning before switching over to the blank keyboard, which is evidence that the process is not rigid, but rather very flexible. The one thing I've always had issues with are the numbers. I've never been a, a 10 key person, you know, the side. Uh, I've always used the numbers on the top, and sometimes I'll have to look. I've gotten way better with it, but I'm still, that and the function keys, sometimes I'll have to, I'll have to look down or I'll have to keep pressing the function keys until I hit the right one. Bam, 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 bam. Which one is it, you know? Uh, all right, number three, keyboard position. You can spend hours and hours and days and days or even weeks and weeks more than you need to learning the skill if you change the angle that you are to your keyboard. This is because your hands and fingers remember each process in terms of distance they move, but a change of angle will normally change distances and you will likely find yourself lost. In addition to this, changing the type of keyboard, e.g. QWERTY to something else, should be avoided because, again, it changes the key locations relative to your fingers. Finding the right keyboard is, well, key. Number four, this is where I. Uh, this is the big one for me. Practice and rest. Another obvious but over, often overlooked thing that you can do is rather than mindlessly copying lines of text uh, into a text file, try talking to your friends on MSN or other messaging programs. This will create a much more random need for key location and speed up the searching process dramatically over a much shorter period of time. After all, if you spent a week solid riding the red rabbit jump gracefully over the fence, then when then when you went to type hi Marcus, you'll have a, a have a break from your routine and find the key all over again. Using any method, though, you'll need to take regular breaks. This helps you refocus your fingers and increase accuracy. That's true. If you find yourself just like constantly blah, 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 and you just can't get anything out, you're too tired, walk away. I don't care how important the task is. You may have to finish it in another you know, 20 minutes or so. Number five, finger key ownership. Each of your fingers remembers a key as being in a certain location and will often have a difference of opinion as to where it really is. 
To curb this annoying habit, you should uh, allocate a finger to each key of the keyboard. This will decrease the amount of thinking that you have to do, increase your spelling accuracy over time, and can even encourage you to utilize more of your fingers over time. Uh, you know, it just takes time. It takes practice. Um, don't give up. I remember, again, learning on that electric typewriter, I mean, I had to warm up. I did. Ha I guess my grandmother did have, you know, a typewriter that wasn't electric. I mean, just, just chick, 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 it works. Um, but the electric typewriter that warmed up, I remember practicing and looking down and watching. And uh, I think it was a family friend, I, one of my parents' friends. They said, you know, you'll type faster if you don't look at the keyboard. And I looked at them like, you're crazy. How can you type faster if you're not looking at the keyboard? And it's absolutely true. Of course, it's really funny uh, when you're typing. If you're touch typing and you don't realize that you're off home row, if like if I'm typing and trying to transcribe something, and your fingers are off, and then you look, look, what the heck's a boost? I've if if I, I've typed in boost so many times, b u c e, and if you ever see me typing in boost, that's me trying to type in the word nice, but my fingers are off by one. So b is next to n, u is next to i. And then C E nice so B U C E instead of N I C E then you know then you know my right hand is off I'll go boost <laughs> that's like the most frequent typo I swear I make anyway oh yeah I think I just pwned myself some some of the greatest you know cultural I guess uh there you go so that's it there you go um instead of saying nice that that'll be our our signal if you think something is really nice it's boost. Cool, huh? That's so Perillo. Jovi. Woo, Jovi. And of course, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, you'd have no idea what those things mean. It's okay. You're a pancake. Probably don't know what that means either. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway, if anybody else has got any suggestions for typing or just regular skills that one might use throughout their lives, I'd certainly appreciate it. Uh, it'd be boost to hear you, uh, hear from you. You can email me, chris at perillo.com. Uh, <laughs> Is your name not boost? That's going to cause a bit of confusion. Boy, I'm just throwing all sorts of inside jokes at you. I apologize if this is the first video you've seen. You gotta understand, we normally have fun. I mean, this is not an exception to that, but uh, we're typically talking tech, and you're certainly keyboarding skills are part of technology. We gotta live with our keyboards every day. Uh, but if you'd like to join us in our chat room, we're we're around, uh, kind of waiting for you right now. So what are you waiting for? We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.